Hello students, let us discuss some of the short answer questions related to orbit orbitals in this video. First question is, what is the number of orbitals, number of subshells, maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated for third orbit? So, let us do this question. In this third orbit is given, that is third orbit means the principal quantum number n is equal to 3. So, let us try this question. First of all, third shell. Third shell means it have three subshells which are 3s, 3p, 3d. These are the three subshells. So, what are the possible subshells are in the third shell? That is S, P and D. That means 3S, 3P and 3D are the three subshells in a third period, third orbit. That is principal counter number N equal to 3. There are three subshells. Now, we need to find out the number of orbitals. Number of orbital, in the case of S, there is only one orbital. Here the orbital you can find it out by counting the number of boxes. As I told you, in the S, there is only one orientation. So, we are writing, we are making one box. For the 3P, we are making three boxes. For 3D, five. So, if you want to find it out the number of orbitals, in the case of uh, S orbit, because there is only one orientation, so we can say the number of orbital, here it is 1. But in the case of P, there are three orientation, the three orbitals are 3PX, 3PY and 3PZ. So, total three orbitals are there and in the D subshell, there are five orbitals, that is 3DX y 3d y z 3d z x 3d x square y square and 3d z square so in the case of d subshell there are five orbitals so how many number of total orbitals are present in the third orbit third orbit that means these all are in the third orbit so we can say that the total number of orbitals are 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means there are 9 orbitals. So, what is the answer for this question? 9 orbital and the subshell as we have counted, there are 3 subshell that is S, P and D are the 3 subshells. In the case of S subshell, there is only 1 orbital. So, we can call it as orbital, 3S orbital. But in the case of 3P, subshell px py pz there are three orbitals so thus we got uh, the number of subshells and number of orbitals let us find out uh, how much will be the maximum number of electrons can be accommodated in the third orbit so as we have discussed that in one orbital maximum two electron can be accommodated that is one electron is in the clockwise direction, the other one is in the anti-clockwise direction. That means when you are making a box, in a single box, maximum two electron, maximum two electron can be accommodated in a single orbital. So, when you count it out the maximum numbers in each, we can get here, we can say like this. Here also when you fill the electrons, 2 in each. So, how much you will get here? When you count it, the number of orbitals we have total, 9 orbitals we have into 2. Because each orbital can accommodate maximum 2 electrons. So, when you multiply this one, you will get 18. That means, and when you count it out here, what I have made here, when you count it out here, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
and the last one is 18. So total 18 are there. So instead of counting like this, when you directly do, that is number of orbitals into 2, you will get the answer. So what is the answer for this question? That is 18. So let us check the answer for this. So we got the answer like the number of orbitals that is 9. The number of subsection that is 3 in which one is S, P and D. And the number of electron, the maximum number of electron can be accommodated for the three third orbital that is 9 orbital in this into 2 equal to 18. So total 18 number of electrons can be accommodated. Next question, what is the difference between and similarities between 1s and 2s, 3s and sorry 4s and 4p orbitals. So you need to find it out the difference and the similarity between these. Let us try this question. First of all 1s and 2s, what is the similarity between this both having the s orbital both having s orbital that means when you make the orbital diagram we'll make single box for here but uh, the difference is that uh, it this is 1s and this one is 2s that means 1s belongs to this orbital belong to the first shell that is n equal to 1 shell and this belong to second shell that is n equal to 2 shell that means the principal quantum number for the 1s, the principal quantum number here it is 1 and here it is 2. So that is one of the difference between 1s and 2s. When you check the similarity, you can find that both having same shape, both are spherical, non-direction both have same shape but what is the difference here even though they have same shape but they differ in size when you compare the size one s because it is the orbital of first shell and it is the orbital of second shell so definitely the size will get differ so we find it out one similarity here one similarity that is both both belongs to s orbital and uh, both have same shape that is spherical but the difference is that uh, one s belong to first principal quantum number and second two s belong to second orbit that is the difference and one more difference you can say that when you compare the size the size of two s is greater than the size of one s now let us find out what is the difference between 4s and 4p. 4s and 4p as 4 here represent the principal quantum number that is here n is equal to 4 that is one of the similarity both 4s and 4p belongs to the fourth orbit. Fourth orbit as we have already discussed k l m n. So here n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4. That means this belong to which shell? That is 4s and 4p belongs to n shell. Shell, orbit or energy level or principal quantum number. Anything can be used for this. So that is one similarity. Both belongs to the the shell where the principal Compton number is equal to 4. Now let us find the difference here. The difference is that 4s because 4s we will make only single box for 4p we will make three boxes. Here the box represented the orbitals. So here there is only one orbital and here in the case of 4p number of orbitals are 3. So that is one difference between these. In 4s only one orbital is there but in 4p three orbitals are there. Orbitals you can count the number of boxes. This is 1, 2, 3. Three orbitals that is px, py and pz. So that is one of the difference here. 
and when you count the number of electron maximum number of electron which can be accommodated here in this maximum 4s in 4s 2 electron can be accommodated but in 4p total 6 electron can be accommodated that is also one different the maximum number of electron can be accommodated in 4s is 2 and here in 4p the maximum number of electron can be accommodated is 6. That is also one of the difference here. What about the shape? As we know that S have spherical shape, P have dumbbell shape. So that is one of the difference here. S spherical and P is dumbbell. So they differ in the shape also. So these are the differences and similarity which we found in the case of first and in the case of second. So all of you note it down the question and the answer. Thank you everyone.